Hey, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot. Here to do another energy update for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Scorpio. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. <coughs> <coughs> Spirit messages in my Scorpios. Alright, so you have received some type of message, phone call, email, that is causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. It is causing you to feel upset. It is causing you to feel out of sorts now you're in your head about something you're in your head about a specific person that you're in a connection with you're worried about your stability your home your family life but some type of money is coming into you very soon there is to be some type of unexpected luck happening for you in the very near future all right, so let's jump into the tarot and see if I can get more details on the situation for you guys. Spirit messages to my Scorpios. Spirit messages to my Scorpios. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, yes, this does concern a family situation. It does concern your significant other. And I think for some of you, you're worried about something that you found out. Yeah. So communication between you and someone is definitely at the peak right now. And it's leaving you in a little stress and anxiety. Could be from a water sign, a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, but somebody offered you love. Hmm. Somebody offered you a relationship, someone that you may have been focused on for some time, but now you feel confused because you're unsure of this person, you're unsure of if they're financially stable, you're unsure if they are really into commitment and loyalty, but you do love this person. You have expressed your love for this person before. I think right now for some of you, you're expressing your love to this person. But you're unsure as to if you want to actually dive into it and go the whole nine yards with this person. So you're back and forth about it. Or it could be that this person is pressing you to have sex with them. And you want to take things a lot slower and you want to be more cautious in this situation. Yeah, so you're looking for some type of justice, some type of fairness, some type of balance in the situation. Yeah, because you're unsure, you're unsure of the relationship. That is to say the least. You are unsure if this person is for real or not. Because you're coming out of um some type of self-inflicted timeout you decided you needed some time to heal from a past situation and you're doing just that but you're in this empress energy where you have gone through a lot you have come out on top of it all 
um, could be a Libra or Taurus you're connecting to. But you're in this energy that you shine so brightly that this person is attracted to you. But you want a relationship not only based on sex, you want a committed relationship. For some of you, it's an Aquarius you're dealing with, but this person coming at you, the way they are coming at you for the sexual encounter is causing you to feel like this is not your person. All right, so you're trying to um, rescind on your offer to this person because you're trying to find answers on your own. You're trying to change your perspective on this person. You're trying to see things differently. But for some reason, there is a resistance here. Could be an Aries Leo or Sag you're connecting to. But this person is being controlling, manipulative, and outright demanding. And you're thinking in your head that it's not going to work for you. Because you feel to yourself that there is something not right here, but you're not getting the cold hard facts as to what is not right. So you're looking at this person online. You could be finding out things from your friends if you guys have mutual friends. You're trying to figure out this person. Because you do want change in the situation. You're trying to resist the change that is happening right now. Or you're trying to accept the change of what is to be. So for some of you, you're going to give up on this connection because you feel like this person is just off. You feel like there is no great potential here. You feel like things will not work out between you and them because you are both on two different pages. But this person does want to build something with you. For some of you, it could be that they do have somebody else and they're only interested in you for sex. And I think that you feel that. For others of you, this person does actually want to build a relationship with you. Now you're trying to open up to them. For some of you, it could be a Virgo, but you're finding it difficult to do because of how they're coming at you. Um, like I said, this person could be very controlling or manipulative, or they have done that to you. And now you're very skeptical as to this person. Yeah. Now you're questioning this person because you feel like there is something that you're not seeing. This is a new person for some of you. This is someone that you recently met and you're questioning this relationship. Because they're coming at you so strong and you're trying to take things slow and they are trying to rush you. And it is causing you to feel like something isn't right here. For some of you, you may have suspected that this person is probably part of a third party situation, why they're rushing you so much, or why they're being flaky in a situation. Okay. All right, so I do see abundance coming into you. I'm not sure if it's in this specific relationship or it's in your life in general. But this relationship is to teach you lessons. There is great potential here, but there are some lessons that you have to go through first. There are some things that you have to learn. So you need to take a, little, a closer look at this whole thing. Because it is rare. It is something that you have not experienced before. But you see this person to be very sexual. You see this person to be very sensual, very open, very vulnerable. And this causes some confusion in you because you've never dealt with somebody that has been so open and honest with you. And this is what is causing the resistance on your end. So Spirit is advising you to look closer and deeper at the connection. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good weekend.